So this was tested in 1989, paper 2, question number 10. We are told a contractor applied for two contracts, A, building a school workshop, and B, building a school library. The probability of getting contract A is 0 0.6. The probability of getting contract B depend on whether or not A is obtained and is 0 0.7 if A is obtained and only 0 0.4 if A is not obtained. What is the probability of getting at least one contract? You are given three marks. So before we solve this problem, let's see what you need to be able to solve the problem. You start with the probability of getting contract A is 0 0.6. So if that, uh, the probability of getting that contract is 0 0.6, the probability of not getting the contract is 1 minus 0 0.6, which is equals to 0 0.6. Remember, the probability does not go below zero, neither does it go above one. Uh, then the probability of getting contract B depend on whether or not A is obtained. And is 0 0.7 if A is obtained. So if A is obtained, the probability of not getting uh, B is 1 minus 0 0.7, which is equal to 0 0.3. Uh, and if A is obtained only 0, uh, and only 0 0.4 if A is not obtained. If A is not obtained, the probability of getting contract B is 0 0.4. So the probability of getting uh, probability B, A, B if A is not obtained is 1 minus 0 0.4 which gives you 0 0.6. Uh, so, the, what is the probability of getting at least one contract? So, this means that you can get two contracts or get one, either A or B. So, with that, you use a tree diagram to be able to solve that problem. So, let's ha see how we go about it. So, let's come up with the tree diagram. So, we start with the probability uh, of getting A. We use A. And we use A with an apostrophe. This is to mean that the probability of getting A is 0 0.6 and the probability of not getting A is 0 0.4, like we have mentioned earlier. From there, we go to B and we say this is B, the probability of getting B if A is obtained and the probability of not getting B if A is obtained. And the other branch, we go to the probability of getting B and the probability of not getting B. So the probability of getting B if A is obtained is 0 0.7 and the probability of not getting B if A is not ob is obtained is 0 0.3. We have seen that. The probability of getting B if A is uh, not obtained is 0 0.4 and the probability of not get not getting B if A is not obtained is 0 0.7. So we are required to find the probability that uh, that uh, that the contractor get at least one contract. So the probability uh, we get uh, one contract is equal to he can get A and B. So we say that is the probability of getting A and B. Then plus, not uh, let's not use plus, but uh, use the word or. He can get A and, rule and not get B. So that is the probability he gets A and not get B. Or the probability of he can miss A and get B. So those are the probability of at least getting one contract. Uh, so we say this is equals to A and B, we say it is 0 0.6, you multiply by 0 0.7 uh, plus 0 0.6, that is probability of getting A, multiply by 0 0.3, probability of not getting B of A, uh, not getting B plus the probability of not getting A which is 0 0.4 uh, multiplied by probability of getting B which is 0 0.4 so when you multiply this this will give you 0 0.42 uh, then plus 0 0.18 plus 0 0.16 and when you add up these probabilities 
you get uh, it is equals to 0 0.76 so that is the probability of getting at least one contract and that's how you go about that question you get yourself three marks